This chapter explains about preparation for ventilation. This video is not a substitute for proper training. Users of the NKV-330 ventilator should be properly trained and have read and understood the operator's manual. Specifications are subject to change by Nihon Koden at any time without notice. Some products may not be available in your country. Contact your Nihon Koden representative for details. Press the power switch on the front of the ventilator to turn on the power. Make sure that the patient selection window appears after the startup screen. Before starting ventilation, select patient type on the patient selection window. Patient type can be selected from same patient, new adult, and new pediatric. When same patient is selected, all previous settings and patient data will be retained. When new adult or new pediatric is selected, the ventilation parameters of the ventilation mode are initialized to the preset ventilation master values. The ventilation master values can be set for each patient type and each ventilation mode on the master window in the system setup window. Confirm that the same circuit configuration is used as it is shown in the circuit configuration settings on the bottom of the patient selection window and select Accept. The last calibration result and calibration date are displayed on the circuit check-in calibrations window. Perform the pre-used tests and calibration before starting patient ventilation. The circuit check and calibrations window can also be displayed by selecting circuit check and cal on the menu window. To change the patient circuit configuration, press setup on the lower right in the patient selection window to display the circuit configuration window. The selected items are displayed in light blue. The circuit configuration window can also be displayed by selecting circuit config on the menu window or selecting circuit config on the circuit check and calibrations window. First, set the exhalation port to use from NK, none, and others. Next, set the proximal sensor to use from pressure sensor and flow sensor. Finally, set the interface to use from NK mask, mask with exhalation port, mask without exhalation port, and ETT track. The patient interface icon on the upper right of the main screen displays the selected patient interface. If the ventilator is used for an intubated patient, select ETT track and use an intubation tube as a patient interface. When the O2 therapy mode is used, it is not necessary to change the circuit configuration settings. Once the circuit configuration settings are completed, press X on the top right to go back to the patient selection window and restart from the patient type setting. The circuit check and calibrations window displays the last calibration result and calibration date and time. The green check icon means calibration was successful and the red cross mark means calibration failed or calibration was not performed. When the patient circuit settings are changed, it may be necessary to do the circuit check and recalibrate the flow sensor. Calibrate the breathing circuit resistance and the amount of leak from the exhalation port. Press circuit check and follow the procedure steps shown as figures and messages on the circuit check window. Open the patient side of the breathing circuit and select start on the circuit check window.
Use the hose cap or the palm of your hand to block the patient's side of the breathing circuit. Then select Start. The circuit check is completed and the result is displayed. When the calibration was successful in each pretest and calibration, passed is displayed on the window. Select complete to close the window. The result and the calibration date and time are displayed beside the corresponding pretests and calibrations on the circuit check and calibrations window. If the calibration failed, check the connection of the corresponding parts. Select Retry and check again. Calibrate the flow sensor if it is being used, or this process can be skipped if it is not being used. Select Flow Sensor Calibration on the Circuit Check and Calibrations window. Orient the flow sensor and select Start on the flow sensor calibration window. Orient the flow sensor again and select Start on the flow sensor calibration window. When flow sensor calibration is complete, the results are displayed. Calibrate the oxygen sensor. Note that you should only calibrate the O2 sensor when the ventilator is connected to a high pressure oxygen supply. Select O2 sensor calibration on the circuit check and calibrations window. Select start on the O2 sensor calibration window. When calibration is complete, the results are displayed. Do zero calibration of the CO2 sensor before monitoring CO2. Connect the CO2 sensor to the multi-socket on the right side panel of the ventilator. Select CO2 sensor zero on the circuit check and calibrations window. Insert the CO2 sensor into the MPPV CAP1 mask or the airway adapter and expose the CO2 sensor to the air. On the CO2 sensor zero window, select AirCal or N2Cal, then select Start. After all circuit checks and calibrations are complete, press X on the top right of the window to close it.